Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast for today and tomorrow. Today, Friday, December the 19th, 2014 and also tomorrow, December the 20th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan and even support me financially on Patreon.com. So today's message is going to be kind of another short, simple, sweet one and it is this. You can write this down and tweet it out. You are in accord with all that you see, with all that is around you. So you are vibrating with, you are in agreement with, from a high soul level to a pretty much human level as well. So everything that's in and around your life in any way, shape, or form, you are in accord with, you are in agreement with. And um, I, I pulled that out of Paul Selig's book. It was, you know, uh, the last book, The Book of Knowing and Worth. And, you know, I sat there and I mulled on it and in my quiet time just before I open up this video, I'm at 12 minutes, soon I'm going to 13 come January 1st. And um, I said, you know, give me an example of like how we can relate to this, how we can understand this, because that's, that's a tough one to swallow. Because, and what Spirit showed me was, you know, you know how you probably said this about someone, mm, yeah, he ended up in jail because he was hanging around with the wrong crowd. And what, what that was the image that Spirit gave me. Basically, whoever that person was that's in jail because they were hanging around the wrong crowd, they started vibrating a certain way and they vibrated with a certain group and that certain group vibrated in a certain way. It's like you start, to, the friends you hang out with, you know, step back, take a look, you know, and even the friends of the friends, it's almost like that one or two degree of separation, you can kind of look and say, ooh, you know, I'm close to that vibration. Um, and so look around you, but also when things come to you, there's something you are vibrating some, let's see, how do I say it? There's some vibrational level or tune or frequency that you are vibrating at to draw certain things to you. Whether it's from a high soul level, um, kind of an unconscious place, or from a very conscious place. And again, to quote Ray Setting, we create, co-create, that's a tough one, and miscreate the things that come in and around our lives. So, just ask your guides, ask your angels, ask those on the other side to show you why you're in accord with that thing. And then when something amazing happens and when you feel like you're getting closer to those guides and angels and those on the other side, you're vibrating higher with them and you're more in accord with them. So there's your lesson for today. A little more spiritual teaching than anything else. So moving into the energy of today and tomorrow, the Lenormand for today, Friday, December 15th, is going to be the stork. And this is... This is some 17, um, but the stork is about, you know, downloads, information, things coming to you, delivery, packages, other keywords I'll use. Um, house move, oh, pregnancy, birth, you know, that's an obvious one the stork brings, but upgrades is the best one I like. You know, so it's, it's like a delivery, it's like an upgrade. So that is the energy of today. And then the tarot or tarot to go along with it is the eight of swords. So this is, as you can see, she's a little tormented, trapped in her own web. Numbers or energy of the day, we're looking at 19 day, which is a sun card, bright, beautiful, you know, clear, strong, powerful. That can often be about children as well. And you know what? Immediately Spirit said, someone's going to get a pregnancy scare today because that's why that Eight of Swords is there. Someone's going to get a pregnancy scare or they're going to find themselves pregnant and kind of go, oh, crap. <laughs> um, but 19 also boils down to 10, which is that wheel card, wheel of fortune, lots of choices, can be just the turning and turning of the wheel of the earth, and also 10 boils down to 1, we talked about this yesterday, and 1 is the magician having everything you need right there within you to go on your journey, new ideas, start beginning, all the numbers add up today to 20, which is being freed from the things that are holding you back. That is the judgment card being released. And 20 boils down to two, which is our high priestess, the very smart, intelligent, wise, knowing, intuitive woman, but can be a man as well. So that could be who's getting the, the pregnancy scare here. Moving into tomorrow's energy, Lenormand for tomorrow is going to be a house. So this is the house, the home card, number four, one of the most solemn numbers, um, one of our places where we come back to for our sanctuary. And to go along with the house for tomorrow, which is Saturday the 20th, we've got the Knight of Coins. Immediately I'm thinking of young child, boy, son of somebody watching this video. 
and, I, and I'm seeing them leave away, leave the house. It's like they're packing up, they're moving away, which is funny because it's like this would be the time where kids are coming home from college, from school, and things like that. But it's almost like they made the decision to get up and move. And I'm seeing something very military as well, so maybe they're heading off to the military. So tomorrow's numbers, 20 and 2. We just talked about those 20, the judgment card being freed from the things holding you back. 2 is all about that high priestess energy. And then tomorrow, this is really interesting because once we get to these higher double-digit numbers, Tomorrow is 12. All the numbers add up to 12. The month is 12. So there's this hangman time going on all day tomorrow. But also 12 boils down to 3. So the entire month is 12 and 3. And that energy, hangman, holding, DNA changing time, 3, birth, beginning, start, Empress, Mother Earth, Gaia. So very interesting kind of a feel. And tomorrow I almost feel like, you know, it's like I keep coming back to this Knight of Coins, like this young man stepping into his manhood, you know, having ideas and births and breaking free and moving on. So that'll be very interesting. And then, of course, today someone might get a little pregnancy scare or a package they don't really want or something at work handed to them that's going to create them more stress. That was for today, the 19th. So have an amazing day. Hey, you guys, I actually have a few um, early uh, morning sessions um, and afternoon sessions open for phone, Skype, um, or FaceTime tomorrow and Sunday, kind of mid-morning to early afternoon as well. If you want to get one in before the holidays, just go to intuitivemessenger.org. And the um, full spread is still up. I will leave it up at least through Christmas, if not a little bit beyond, but definitely no longer than the end of the year. And it is one card per day, per month, for the entire year of 2015. No Cosmic Caffeine this Sunday night. We'll be back on the 28th. Namaste. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.